Welcome back, I'm Julia Grabowska and this is your entertainment update. Material Girl Madonna has opened a gym in Toronto and she was here last night for the opening of Hard Candy. The 55-year-old pop star led a master workout class with 50 people they had to audition to participate. Madonna was joined by her personal trainer who developed her signature Addicted to Sweat routine. She now has fitness clubs in Berlin, Rome, Sydney, Santiago and Russia. Dumb Starbucks has shut down only after four days of operation. It was a parody store that looked like a real Starbucks, and the project was the brainchild of a Humber grad. Nathan Fielder is a Canadian comedian. I'm Nathan Fielder, president and founder of Dumb Starbucks, a brand new coffee experience located in Los Angeles, California. By adding the word dumb, we are legally allowed to use the coveted Starbucks name and logo because we've fulfilled the minimum requirements to be considered a parody under U.S. law. People lined up around the corner to get a mock Starbucks coffee, and Fielder says he didn't need a permit because the shop was protected by satire law and fell under fair comment. The shop was legally an art gallery, and the coffee was art. The reason for the closure? No valid permit. Some news today about Rihanna's personal finances. The singer says she was effectively bankrupt back in 2009. She blames her accountant and she says she was never warned that there were problems. Rihanna says her expenses had doubled and left her on a financial cliff. But don't worry, the star is doing fine now. She's worth an estimated $43 million. Montreal's Arcade Fire is the top nominee for the MTVU Woody Awards. The band sits at three nominations for the 10th annual award show, celebrating the tunes loved best by college students. The Woodies will be recorded during the South by Southwest Music Festival and will air March 16th. Pharrell Williams, Jay-Z, Imagine Dragons, Chance the Rapper and Disclosure all have two nominations apiece. Selena Gomez is thanking her fans on Instagram after news broke that she spent time in rehab. Gomez voluntarily entered a rehab facility in Arizona a month ago and stayed for two weeks. The singer posted a photo of herself on a boat, captioned, I've done everything I could to the best of my ability. Thank you for the unconditional love and cyber hugs. And that's it for your entertainment update. I'm Julia Grabowska. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Julia. Construction workers in Washington made an interesting discovery during their routine work day. The Seattle workers uncovered the tusk of an Ice Age woolly mammoth during digging on private property. Because it was discovered on private property, it is up to the owner of the property to decide what to do with it. The woolly mammoth is believed to have gone extinct 10,000 years ago. That's all for Humber News for today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Carissa Wilson. And I'm Alexis MacDonald. Humber News is written and produced by journalism students at the North Campus. You can catch us online on YouTube. We'll see you next time.